Step into the world of Men in Black, where nothing is ordinary. Here, humans and aliens coexist in a secret organization dedicated to protecting Earth from extraterrestrial threats. In this video, we delve deep into the lore of the Men in Black franchise, exploring 27 fascinating aliens from the movies. Get ready to uncover the races, backstories, and unique characteristics of these otherworldly beings. From the Zarthans to the Hive, each alien brings a new dimension to the MIB universe. Join us on this journey as we unravel the secrets and mysteries behind these characters. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Edgar the Bug Edgar the Bug is an alien bug and the main antagonist in the first Men in Black film. He hails from an unknown extraterrestrial planet assuming the towering height of 13 feet long. While primarily resembling a cockroach, his features also incorporate elements of other Earth insects such as praying mantis, cricket, grasshopper, and hornet. When the bug crash lands on Earth in a flying saucer, it lands on the truck of Edgar, an abusive farmer. Edgar is initially unaware of the creature's presence and goes to investigate. The bug demands Edgar to put down his gun, but Edgar refuses and threatens the alien instead. However, the bug grants Edgar's request, reveals its true form, and kills him by flaying his body. It then assumes Edgar's appearance by wearing his skin as a disguise. This appearance deteriorates over time, with saggy skin and a discolored eye. The bug is driven by a deep hatred for the killing of insects, especially cockroaches. He embarks on a mission to obtain the powerful Archelian galaxy. Throughout the movie, he is pursued by the Men in Black agents, K and J. The bug displays various abilities, including heightened intellect, super strength, super flexibility, wall crawling, super leaping, vocal camouflage, slime secretion, and a collective sense to detect nearby insects. His actions involve killing Edgar, trapping and murdering Gentle Rosenberg and an Archelian alien, as well as abducting Laurel, a mortician. However, in the climactic showdown, Kay sacrifices himself to defeat the bug from within, while Jay and Laurel deliver the final blow, ultimately killing the antagonist. Let's agree to disagree. <laughs> Boris the Animal Boglodite. Boris, also known as the Animal, is the main antagonist in the movie, Men in Black 3. He is the last surviving member of the Boglodite race and is an intergalactic criminal. Boris is accompanied by a small insect-like pet called the Weasel, which resides in his right hand and provides him with lethal spikes. Originally from the planet Boglodosha, located 20 light years away from Earth, Boris was sent to Earth in the 1960s to prevent the deployment of the ArcNet shield a defensive barrier that would protect Earth from his species. His mission involved eliminating anyone who attempted to activate the shield. Boris killed several individuals, including Griffin the Arcanian, a survivor from a planet that his species destroyed. Boris was arrested by Agent K in 1969 and imprisoned in Lunar Max Prison. After 43 years of confinement, he escapes with the help of Lily Poison. Boris time jumps back to 1969 to alter the timeline, aiming to kill Agent K and prevent the establishment of the ArcNet shield. In the altered timeline, Boris succeeds in killing K and causes the Boglodites to invade Earth in 2012. Agent J travels back in time to 1969 to stop Boris and restore the original timeline. A battle begins between the younger Boris and the agents, with Boris attempting to kill K and prevent the installation of the ArcNet. However, J manages to defeat the elder Boris by pushing him off a launch tower, and K chooses to kill the younger Boris, altering the timeline once again. Boris is depicted as ruthless, violent, and cunning with a disregard for both alien and human life. He is also shown to be intelligent and intolerant of failure. Ready, guys? Lock and load, baby. The worms, annelids. The worms, or as we know them, annelids, are an alien species featured in the Men in Black franchise, although they have a small role in Men in Black 1. They gain more prominence in the second film and in other media variations of Men in Black. In Men in Black 2, the worms play a more significant role having moved into an apartment in New York after being suspended for robbing a duty-free shop. They assist Agent J in infiltrating MIB headquarters and stopping the antagonist, Serlina. In Men in Black 3, the worms are present at Agent Z's funeral, playing the bagpipes as a tribute. During the invasion of Earth by the Boglodites, they can be seen in the background, lightheartedly commenting on Agent J being responsible for the world's fate. 
Worms have a strong affinity for coffee and exhibit energetic and sometimes mischievous behavior. On Earth, they indulge in forbidden pleasures and can be found lazing around in break rooms and coffee houses. Physically, worms are short creatures with narrow body, two primary arms, and six tiny arms on their chest. They possess antennae on their heads and have three-toed feet. Notably, worms might have the ability to regenerate as they are spineless creatures and can pull their bodies together after being cut in fractions. The worms are governed by an emperor, and drinking coffee is considered a noble's drink among them. However, most worms on Earth break this tradition and actively seek out coffee. They often panic in times of crisis and tend to cry out rather than fight. The worms provide comic relief and contribute to the humor of the Men in Black series. Despite their mischievous tendencies and laziness on Earth, they prove to be loyal and supportive to the MIB agents in their missions. Serlina, Kylothian Serlina Zath is a Kylothian operative and the main antagonist in Men in Black 2. She spent years searching for the light of Zartha, only to discover that Agent K tricked her. Serlina takes on various forms throughout the movie, including a human form portrayed by Laura Flynn Boyle. As a Kylothian, Serlina belonged to a race engaged in a long-standing war with the Zarthans. She traveled from planet to planet in search of the light, leaving destruction in her wake. Eventually, she learns that the light has been on Earth all along and arrives in New York. Serlina's abilities include shape-shifting, allowing her to take on different forms. Initially, appearing as a serpent, she transforms into a human model after encountering a magazine. Despite her deceptive appearance, Serlina is ruthless and devours those who cross her path. She infiltrates MIB headquarters, holds everyone captive, and makes convicts to aid her mission. In the end, Serlina is defeated by Agent J and Agent K. After a series of confrontations and a chase scene, she is ultimately destroyed when J and K shoot her with their weapons. Archillians the Archillians are a race of small humanoid aliens, known for their large heads and eyes. As we know in the first film, Edgar the Bug seeks to steal the Archillian galaxy, resulting in the death of two Archillians. One surviving Archillian, Gentle Rosenberg, reveals to Agent J and Laurel that the galaxy is located on Orion's belt, which turns out to be a small sphere on Gentle's cat collar. The Archillians threaten to destroy Earth unless the galaxy is returned. J and K successfully retrieve it, saving the planet. They possess the ability to hide within human-like exosuits and safeguard the Archillian galaxy, which holds great significance to their race. While their powers are not explicitly mentioned, their advanced technology and knowledge suggest they possess unique capability. Overall, the Archillians play a crucial role in the Men in Black universe as guardians of the Archillian galaxy and key allies to the MIB agents in their mission to protect Earth. C-18 Aliens Hidden within Locker C-18 is the world of the C-18 Aliens. These are tiny humanoid creatures with their body covered with brown fur, big eyes, and antennas that glow like a bioluminescent disco. These furry beings resemble a mix of innocence and gullibility. What makes these creatures truly unique is their habit of collective chanting. Yes, they have a habit of breaking into synchronized harmonies, as if they formed a pocket-sized choir. But wait, it gets even better. These super dwarfy beings worship everyday objects with devotion. Imagine presenting them with your pocket lint, and they'll hail you as a majestic ruler. Although they lack any remarkable powers, their ability to turn the mundane into majestic is nothing short of extraordinary. These creatures made their appearance in the Men in Black film series, adding a touch of charm and hilarity to the extraterrestrial escapade. Frank the Pug Remulian. Frank the Pug is the ultimate sensation, a talking dog with a bark that will leave you laughing and begging for more. Don't be fooled by his cute pug appearance, because Frank is no ordinary canine. He's an extraterrestrial from the Remulian species, cleverly disguised as a pug to blend in on Earth. In the first Men in Black movie, Frank holds a brief but important role, working at a locksmith stand in NYC. He gives out crucial information to Agent K about the Archillian galaxy, and let's not forget his sassy retaliation to Agent J inviting him to plant a big smooch on his furry little butt. Talk about a talking dog with an attitude, but Frank truly shines in the second movie, becoming Agent J's partner. Although his intentions are good, he ends up causing chaos wherever he goes. From terrorizing MIB personnel to cracking jokes during missions, Frank is a true troublemaker with a heart of gold. Unfortunately, Frank takes a back seat in the third installment, but his memory lives on through a picture in Jay's room and a Coney Island billboard proudly proclaiming him as the incredible speaking pug. His absence was a deliberate choice by the filmmakers to introduce fresh characters and stories. But don't worry, Frank's legacy lives on as the secret backstory of the Coney Island talking dog. Squid. The squid is the not-so-adorable codename for an alien species. With their brown bodies, big eyes, and an abundance of tentacles, they are a sight to see. 
Although we only catch a glimpse of a newborn squid, it's safe to assume that the adults share a similar appearance in their natural form. In a classic Men in Black scenario, after Jay joins the agency, he and Kay are assigned a mission by none other than Zed. Their task? Investigate an alien who has ventured outside its designated zone. While Kay interrogates the alien disguised as a human, Jay finds himself in the middle of a rather eventful and aggressive birth process. Amidst the chaos, Jay is hurled across the road, cradling a newborn squid in his arms. And what does this little creature do in response to Jay's admiration? It decides to show its gratitude by unleashing a shower of vomit upon him. Oh, the joys of extraterrestrial parenthood. So, keep your eyes peeled for the squid, the not-so-cuddly but undeniably fascinating alien species. Okay, he's a Balchinian. Oh. Balchinians. Balchinians. A truly unique species among the aliens. Despite their overall human-like appearance and sagging faces, they possess a rather unconventional feature that sets them apart from us mere humans. Yes, you heard it right. They have a physical feature that resembles a pair of testicles dangling from their chins, hence their rather descriptive name. Now, while they may be resilient to most forms of physical attacks, it turns out that their chin balls are their weak spot. In Men in Black 2, where Serlina recruits a variety of aliens to stop K and J, in one memorable scene, K delivers a swift kick to the crotch of an alien adversary, only to realize that he is facing a Balchinian. It's a classic case of hitting below the belt, quite literally. As K quickly adapts to the situation, he exposes the alien's cock and balls, pardon the explicitness, and strategically delivers a well-aimed strike to the vulnerable region of the Balchinian. A tactical move indeed, proving that knowledge of an enemy's weak spot can make all the difference. While no other Balchinians are known to exist at this time, it's safe to say that encountering such an unusual species in the vast universe of Men in Black is an experience that won't soon be forgotten. So brace yourself for the bizarre, for in this world of aliens, surprises lurk around every corner, even in the form of chin-based testicular attachments. Arcanans are Canaans, beings that transcend the boundaries of our three-dimensional existence. These extraordinary entities possess a remarkable gift, the ability to perceive an infinite array of alternate timelines and potential futures, all unfolding simultaneously. They are like cosmic seers, gazing upon the drapes of countless possibilities that dance in the fabric of reality. Yet, the Arcanans themselves are not bound by the handcuffs of certainty, for they cannot determine which particular future will come to reality. Like a grand symphony of maybes, their visions encompass a vast panorama of divergent paths, forever branching and intertwining. It is a paradox to witness the unfolding of multiple destinies while remaining uncertain of the one true course. However, the Arcanans possess a remarkable way to share their insight. They can temporarily bestow their ability upon other beings, allowing them to catch a glimpse of the possible futures yet to be. A mere touch from an Arcanan can do the magic, opening your mind to the boundless realm of what could be. But alas, the Arcanan race, has met a tragic fate. Their celestial home, the planet Ark, suffered a calamity at the hands of the Boglodites. Consumed by the hunger of these invaders, the Arcanans faced extinction, their brilliance fading like a dying star. Yet hope perseveres in the form of Griffin, the last known survivor of the Arcanan race. With determination, he safeguards the remnants of his people's legacy. Griffin's ultimate act of defiance against the encroaching Boglodites came in the form of the Arknet, a device capable of shielding entire planets from the clutches of invasion. Guided by his ethereal wisdom, Griffin entrusted Agent K with the Arknet shield, empowering him to deploy this extraordinary defense system. Through their combined efforts, the Boglodites were left to wither, their insatiable hunger denied sustenance. In that final battle, the Arcanans found their voice, their presence forever engraved in the history of interstellar tales. Bicranials. Prepare to encounter the Bicranials, a fascinating species hailing from the distant planet Bicrania. These extraordinary beings boast a most intriguing physical feature, a second head, smaller in size, emerging from a flexible neck extending from their backs. The Bicranials exhibit quite a significant resemblance to humans. Upon first glance, one might mistake a bicranial for a conventional human, as their primary head governs their bodily functions and commands their action. However, it is their secondary head that adds a touch of peculiarity to their appearance. Despite possessing independent consciousness and distinct personalities, the secondary head is confined to controlling only the movement of the neck, granting them minimal autonomy within their shared physical form. These dual-headed marvels are endowed with knowledge in both their primary and secondary heads. Each head possesses its own thoughts, perspectives, and individuality, yet it is the primary head that holds dominion over the body, guiding the actions and decisions of the bicranial as a whole. Scrad and Charlie, two notable representatives of the bicranial species, 
illustrate the nature of their kind. With their dual heads functioning as a harmonious whole, they engage in extraordinary adventures. Four minutes to launch. Four minutes to launch. Jara. Jara, an intergalactic criminal mastermind whose cunning and ambition have no bounds. Within the realm of Men in Black 2, Jara emerges as a secondary antagonist, captivating audiences with his audacious plans. A member of the Krulite species, Jara possesses an intellect that rivals the stars themselves. Driven by a hunger for power and wealth, he prepares a scheme to rob Earth's precious ozone layer, intending to sell it on the black market. However, his grand design is swiftly destroyed by the efforts of our Men in Black agent. Captured within the confines of MIB headquarters, Jara stays behind bars for five long years and 43 days, but fate was on his side. And with the arrival of Serlina, Jara finds himself granted an unexpected acquittal. Lured by the promise of freedom, Jara strikes a bargain. In exchange for his release, he pledges his expertise to aid Serlina in her quest, constructing a vessel capable of traversing the cosmos at an astonishing 300 times the speed of light. However, his destiny took a turn. Jara's path crossed once again with Jay. It is during this epic clash that the true nature of Jara is revealed, shattering the illusion that he had created earlier. Hidden within his opposing black bell-shaped coat lies a micro-sized alien, a miniature flying saucer. Furthermore, his arsenal of many clones, concealed beneath the coat, add an extra layer of intrigue to his deceptive tactics. Later, Jara meets his fiery demise, a fitting in for a criminal mastermind who dared to challenge the men in black. <laughs> I take that back. He looked like crap. <laughs> Dog Poop. Dog Poop. A character among the ensemble of aliens aligned with the cunning Serlina. Scrad and Charlie, Cornface, Penial Eye, Mosh Tendrils, and the Balchinian in the world of Men in Black 2. An outspoken humanoid creature with a distinct appearance that induces a resemblance to a certain organic byproduct left behind by our four-legged companion. Dog Poop's form is decorated with leathery skin, mirroring the texture and color of its name, while its face bears a prominent black nose. Driven by a relentless quest for knowledge, Dog Poop sets its sights on locating the elusive Agent K, harboring a firm belief that the agent holds the key to the coveted light of Zartha. Yet, in a twist of fate, it is Agent K himself who brings an abrupt end to Dog Poop's pursuits, swiftly neutralizing the canine-like creature with a well-aimed shot. Jeffrey, in the movie Men in Black 2, Jeff is a giant worm-like alien who wreaks havoc in the subway. Agent J and T provoke him by tampering with the flower on his head, causing Jeff to burst out of the ground and attack them. J manages to subdue Jeff temporarily by injecting him with a tranquilizer, although it initially has no effect. Jeff's rampage on a train prompts the passengers to move to safety, and Jay eventually convinces him to stop eating the train. However, during a final confrontation with Serlina, Jeff's body becomes the host for the villainous alien. In a desperate act, Jeff roars in pain while Jay orders him to retreat, but Serlina emerges from within him, causing his demise as she bursts him apart. Jay, Kay, and Laura are left in shock by Jeff's sacrifice. Jeebs. Jacob Jack Jeebs is a notable character in the Men in Black franchise, portrayed by Tony Shalhoub in the films. He is an alien posing as a pawn shop owner, specializing in stolen items from both humans and extraterrestrial. Jeebs is known for his shady dealings and illegal trade of alien technology and weapons. Despite his questionable reputation, he proves to be a valuable resource for agents K and J. Jeebs belongs to a species called Skooks which resemble humans but have green blood. One peculiar aspect of his biology is his ability to regenerate his head after it is shot off, although the regenerated head never looks the same. This characteristic has become a recurring comedic element throughout the franchise, often triggered by Jeebs antagonizing or withholding of crucial information. Although Jeebs claims to have ceased dealing in alien weaponry, he still sells arms to unlicensed aliens. His encounters with law enforcement, including the police, are not uncommon but he manages to navigate those situations with cunning and a fondness for survival. In Men in Black 2, Jeebs plays a pivotal role in restoring Agent K's memories using an unlicensed and outdated denoralizer. Despite his reluctance, Jeebs aids the agents in their mission, showcasing a loyalty to the Men in Black organization. Bivoids The Bivoids are a humanoid alien species hailing from the planet Bivoida. Unfortunately, their home planet fell victim to the consumption of the Boglodites resulting in its destruction. Bivoids share a striking resemblance to humans, with the notable distinction of having an unusually large skull and possessing purple-colored blood. Cephaloids Cephaloids are an extraterrestrial species featured in the Men in Black film, while their true appearance remains unknown. They have the ability to assume a human form on Earth. Cephaloids possess distinct traits such as pulsating eyes and the ability to breathe through gills, 
indicating a potential aquatic or fish-like nature. These alien beings exhibit remarkable capabilities. They possess enhanced speed and stamina, surpassing that of humans, making them threatening adversaries. Additionally, cephaloids are known for their impressive leaping abilities, although their full extent is uncertain. While cephaloids play a relatively minor role in the Men in Black series, their mysterious nature and unique abilities contribute to the diverse alien universe depicted in the films. Post Office Aliens In the Men in Black universe, there exists an unidentified, fascinating humanoid race with a remarkable attribute. They possess eight arms. These peach-skinned beings are known for their exceptional speed and coordination, allowing them to perform multiple tasks simultaneously with astonishing precision. One member of this species found themselves working at a post office in Massachusetts, disguised as a letter-sorting machine. With their superhuman speed, they flawlessly sorted letters while hidden within the machine's shell. The unusual appearance of the eight-armed aliens present serves as a reminder of the extraordinary diversity and abilities found within the Men in Black universe. Zarthans Zarthans are an extraterrestrial species hailing from the planet Zartha. While their true appearance remains undisclosed, Zarthans have the ability to assume a human guise. They possess a powerful force known as the Light of Zartha, which serves as a protective entity for their homeworld. In the Men in Black universe, the Zarthans become entangled in a conflict with a Kylothian alien named Serlina, who seeks to acquire the Light of Zartha with the intention of annihilating their planet. To safeguard the Light, Zarthan Princess Lorana entrusts it to Agent K, who conceals its whereabouts by faking its launch. The Zarthans and their connection to the Light of Zartha play a significant role in the Men in Black storyline, highlighting the ongoing struggle between good and evil forces across the galaxy. While the physical characteristics and abilities of the Zarthans remain unknown, their mission to protect their planet adds depth to the extraterrestrial mythos in the franchise. Mikey? Mikey is a minor antagonist in Men in Black. Portrayed as a Samurian alien who escapes from prison, he attempts to disguise himself as an immigrant to evade capture. Voiced by John Alexander, Mikey has a unique appearance resembling a humanoid combination of a bullfrog and a crocodile. Mikey possesses amphibian reptilian features, including eyes and a shell-like structure on his back with six small arms and hands. His elongated face holds a small mouth with extendable shark-like jaws. In the film's opening, Agent K and D investigate immigrants brought into the country illegally, posing as INS agents. They discover Mikey among the immigrants, leading to a confrontation. During the encounter, Mikey becomes enraged when an INS agent named Janice witnesses his true form. He attacks Janice but is swiftly shot by Agent K, resulting in a burst of blue remnants. This confrontation highlights Mikey's aggression and the swift action taken by the Men in Black agents to neutralize the threat. Riza Stavros Riza Stavros, played by Rebecca Ferguson in Men in Black International, is an alien weapons dealer who knows how to handle both dangerous extraterrestrial technology and complicated relationships. Her encounter with H, her ex-boyfriend and MIB agent, adds an intriguing twist to her already eventful life. In the world of aliens and secret agents, even love can be a risky business. The Hive In Men in Black International, the Hive proves that invading planets is their specialty. This parasitic race merges with the DNA of conquered species to devour worlds. Their failed attempt to invade Earth in 2016 through the Eiffel Tower's wormhole sets the stage for Agent H's questionable commitment to his job. With a new partner, Agent M, they uncover a conspiracy involving the murder of an alien royal and a powerful crystal weapon. The shocking revelation that their own mentor, High T, has succumbed to the Hive adds a thrilling twist. As the Hive attempts another invasion, H and M must confront the truth and stop the infestation. With a heroic sacrifice and a well-placed blast, they ensure that the Hive's reign of terror comes to a satisfyingly close call. One more step and I'll liquefy your- Pawnee, in Men in Black International, Pawnee steals the show as a tiny but charismatic alien. Hailing from a species governed by a monarchy, Pawnee's loyalty and purpose revolve around serving and protecting their queen. After the demise of his fellow aliens at the hands of the twins, Pawnee becomes the sole survivor. Overwhelmed by grief, Pawnee attempts suicide until Agent M convinces him to find a new purpose, and he pledges his loyalty to her, serving her as the new queen. Pawnee's outgoing personality, eccentricity, and comedic nature make him a beloved and loyal friend to the agents, particularly Agent M. He is small in size, wears weird armor, 
and looks like pawn pieces living on the chessboard. Hence the name. His ability to utilize armor as a protective shell proves advantageous in his quest to defeat the hive-controlled High T at the Eiffel Tower. Pawnee's quick thinking and action save Agent M from the clutches of the Hive's wormhole, allowing her to wield the crystal superweapon and vanquish the evil alien threat once and for all. The Twins The Twins, an extinct alien species known as the Dyads, are highly intelligent beings in Men in Black International. They were wiped out by the Hive, the planet-consuming force. Although little is known about their homeworld and physical attributes, it is clear that they possess incredible power and near invulnerability. Initially perceived as the primary threat, the twins were responsible for the assassination of Vungus the Ugly in their quest to obtain the crystal superweapon he possessed. They possess the ability to transform between solid, liquid, and gas forms, rendering them impervious to conventional attacks. Even the combined firepower of Agents H and M proved ineffective against their resilient bodies during a firefight outside an alien nightclub. Eventually, Agent H and M acquired the ultimate weapon and confronted the twins on Riza Stavros' island. Agent M attempted to use the weapon to keep them at bay, but the twins revealed their true intentions to use the weapon against the Hive and protect their own world. However, their plans were cut short when High T and other MIB agents unleashed a powerful assault, resulting in the twins' demise. This turn of events led H and M to realize that the twins were not allies of the Hive, but rather sought to destroy it. In summary, the twins were determined to eradicate the Hive. Their unique abilities and noble intentions added an intriguing layer to the storyline of Men in Black International. Mr. Wu, Mr. Wu, the slug-like alien and owner of a Chinese restaurant in Men in Black 3, certainly had a memorable encounter with Agents K and J. Despite his attempts to deceive them with a fake accent and stall their investigation, the truth about his unlicensed alien fish and health violations in the kitchen was eventually revealed. When Agent K discovers the presence of assassins and his enemy Boris the Animal's escape, the situation escalates. In a heated confrontation, K takes matters into his own hands, dispatching the assassins and engaging in a violent encounter with one of Wu's chefs. The chaos culminates in the shocking sight of Mr. Wu's lifeless body pinned to the wall, leaving the audience on edge. However, with the alteration of the 1969 timeline and Boris's demise, the fate of Mr. Wu becomes uncertain. It is presumed that he may have been taken into custody for his involvement in the events, but given the complexities of time travel and altered timelines, his ultimate fate remains open to interpretation. In a film filled with alien encounters and unexpected twists, Mr. Wu's character adds a touch of intrigue and danger to the world of Men in Black. White Brain Guy The White Brain Guy is an intriguing yet mysterious alien character who made an appearance in Men in Black 3. Little is known about this enigmatic being, including its species in origin. The White Brain Guy's most striking feature is its unique appearance resembling a floating brain enclosed in a transparent dome. This alien visited Earth, becoming an interesting addition to the diverse array of extraterrestrial beings encountered by Agents J and K. While the white brain guy's role may have been brief, its presence added an element of curiosity and wonder to the Men in Black universe. Stalk Eyes Stalk Eyes, an alien of unknown species, was a criminal who crossed paths with Agent K and J at Wu's restaurant. This alien had a unique appearance, resembling a combination of a lobster and a reptile. Its distinguishing feature was a set of large, stalk-like eyes. Stalk eyes joined other criminals in a confrontation with the agents, making for an intense encounter. Despite the limited information available about its species and background, stalk eyes added to the diverse and intriguing roster of extraterrestrial beings in the Men in Black universe. Conclusion Exploring the vast and imaginative world of Men in Black Aliens has been a great journey. From the eight-armed postal sorter to the mysterious white brain guy, each alien brings a unique and intriguing presence to the franchise. The variety of species, from humanoid to reptile-like beings, showcases the boundless creativity and attention to detail in their design. These extraterrestrial characters not only contribute to the unique narratives, but also highlight the diversity and complexity of the universe in which the Men in Black operate. With their fascinating appearances and backstories, these aliens add depth and wonder to the world of Men in Black. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone. Oh, that. That's a snub-nosed car signal.